Not yet, but I guess I could use a break. What do you feel like having? Mm. Welcome, welcome! It's yet another round of the Daily Hunger Games. We are going to decide on the best comfort food for Joan. Each of you will get 30 seconds to convince us why you deserve to win. Let's hear from our first contestant. Oh, do I even need to do this? Look at me. Greasy, delicious, and most of all, downright sinful. Don't we already have a clear winner? <clears throat> but you're 2,000 calories and once on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. Isn't that the best sort of comfort food? Comfort food isn't always unhealthy food, you know. But doesn't everyone reach out for the high-calorie foods like me when they're feeling down? Uh-uh! When you feel comforted by food, it's not always because of how sinful or how unhealthy it is. It's all about the sense of familiarity. Our comfort food tends to be dishes that we associate with the past, mainly from our childhood. But tons of people say that I make them feel better. I guess, to each his own. Maybe you're just not for Joan today. Can you move there? Stop pushing! You're the fat one! People call this happy rolls! Aren't they just fat? Curves, okay? Hi! <laughs> you guys must be the Happy Meal family! Yes! I'm the ice cream! And I'm the cheeseburger! What makes you guys the comfort food for her? <laughs> we all know that ladies prefer sweet things! In this study on comfort food, researchers found that women preferred high-calorie sweet snack foods like chocolate and <laughs> ice cream. It's just mm -hmm. a probability. I bet she wants a bite of this thick juicy patty. <laughs> As if you know anything, she's upset right now. And that's when we ladies crave comfort food. She isn't upset. When women say no, they actually mean yes. She just craves for a reward after a long day. That's a man thing. Oh, you think you're so I smart. I disagree. Always like this. Yes, should I listen to you? And your time is up. I'm glad we had such a good conversation. <laughs> Conclusion is, different genders view their comfort foods differently. Now, what's that amazing smell? A piping hot bowl of soup. Isn't that always the most comforting? Ooh, sounds good. Wait, but why? When you think of us, you think of food that you eat when you fall sick. So it creates this feeling of warmth. Like someone cradling you. But there's a catch. It won't make you feel good unless you have a close relationship with the people around you. Oh, why? Imagine eating a dish that was prepared by your grandma versus eating a dish that was prepared by a nurse. Which will you feel closer to? Hmm, I like you. You're really the best so far. Don't speak so soon. Next! You! I don't think I've seen you in a while. Who are you? I'm fried rice, remember? Fried rice? Yeah, the dish that mum cooked often in the past. You know, for a single working mother, cooking was quite a rare thing. Oh right, I just couldn't recognize you because you looked so... Normal? I was never made from the best ingredients anyway. Mom always said she had to use leftover rice from the night before. She said I tasted better that way. What's so special about you? You tell me. What is this competition really about? To Joan, comfort food was never just about the food craving. It was always about the desire to belong somewhere. Look at all of us. We're not that special. We're just good old nostalgia. And that's what we're really here for, isn't it? To remind you that no matter how you feel, bad or good, there is a place in this world for you. All you have to do is taste and remember. But maybe we're just an easy excuse for humans to indulge in a good old plate of fried rice. And is that really so bad? Oh, yeah? I said, what do you feel like having? Hmm. You know what? Why don't you come over? I think... 
or cook. Hi, I'm Jolene from the OPLAS team. If you like our videos, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, we have a bunch of other videos in our playlist here. You can check them out. And also, you know... <laughs> <laughs>